Hi, Dr. Goldberg, uh, continuing our infectious disease lecture series. Today we're going to talk about C. difficile or Clostridia difficile. We're definitely seeing more Clostridia difficile in our hospitals and clinics in the last five years. This is likely due to the increased use of PPIs. Uh, so remember that. We use PPIs to help people with GERD, ulcer disease, and we're probably increasing our incidence of C. diff. C. diff uh, toxins, most common test, one of the most common tests we were in the hospital. Unfortunately, 30% of the people in the hospital on antibiotics are going to get diarrhea. So obviously, we want to try to find C. diff. There's type A and type B toxins. Serious disease is considered when the white count's more than 15,000. And if the creatinine's greater than 1.5 with dehydration. Literally all antibiotics can cause C. diff, but the ones that are notorious are clindamycin, ampicillin, uh, cephalosporins, uh, and the quinolones. They have the highest rates. We can see it also with chemotherapeutic agents like methotrexate. So how do we treat it? Well, we can use oral metronidazole or IV metronidazole, uh, 500 milligrams four times a day. Or we can use oral vancomycin at 125 to 500 milligrams four times a day, but do not use IV vancomycin because it doesn't work. For people with recurrent disease, we can continue with oral vancomycin, but wean it down slower. Use it twice a day for seven days, then daily for seven days, then every, every other day for up to eight weeks. A new antibiotic called Difficid or Fidaxomycin is a new macrolide. It's used 200 milligram dosing. Uh, it's very effective for this organism, uh, but unfortunately it's very expensive. Uh, things that we can do for the diet itself to slow it down, we can add cholestyramine powder. Sometimes that is helpful, so remember that. Unfortunately, some of our patients with C. diff are going to re require a total colectomy especially if there's pseudomembrous colitis with perforation or a toxic megacolon. Other parts of the bowel are not affected by this organism, just the colon. The spores produced with, with C. diff live a long time uh, on fomites, inanimate objects in the room. We have to keep our patients in isolation at the hospital even after the C. diff is turned negative. Uh, can spread nosocomial, so you got to watch that. We diagnose it with PCR. It's very accurate. The NAP1 uh, type of C. diff is very serious and it's very potent. So remember how to take care of C. diff. It's a very odoriferous diarrhea. Most people, most of the nurses know it when it's around, uh, but fortunately we can treat most cases uh, and uh, people can do well. Uh, thanks, Dr. Goldberg, signing off.